Hello and welcome back to another edition of Big Bull Technology. This is the first video of a series for our year sevens and eights on the pencil box. We'll be making a pencil box this semester. This one right here that I have, this is my one full of my pencils. You're gonna be making something like this with your own design. Today's video is the first of a series showing you each step of that pencil box. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to go from this to this and you're marking out that you need to have with all the sizes and all the measurements that you need exactly on how to do this. So let's get going. Okay, so here we go. First thing you need to do is you need to get your sandpaper and your sanding block, and you need to give your timber a sand. We need to sand that all the way around so that it gets nice and smooth so we can mark our pencil lines on it. Now I'm just sanding the edges here, those corners, just to make them so they're not sharp. We're not gonna get any splinters. There we go. So now I'm ready to start marking out for my pieces. Now this piece will do four people. Okay, so in your group of four, you will get four of these out of that one piece. So four of you will be marking out on this one piece and then drilling it and cutting it. So the first thing I need to do, get my tri-square, my nice sharp pencil, and I'm going to line this up and I'm going to put a line very close to the end over here so that I can know that that is a square line because I'm not sure if this has been cut properly or whatever the case may be. That's a nice even line to start from. The first measurement, I'm gonna mark out this smaller block and that is 35 millimetres. So I'm gonna put my rule on the end there and I'm gonna mark out 35 millimetres. Then I'm gonna put another line at 30, at five millimetres. I'm going to then put my pencil on that line and then push my tri-square up against it. Watch again, pencil on the line, push my tri-square up against it gently and put one nice neat line all the way across. And then I'm doing it again. Pencil on the line, tri-square, marking that out. All these pencil lines need to be sanded off. So the lighter you do them, the better it will be. The next measurement I need to do is 50 millimeters for this larger block. So rule on zero again, marking out 50, and then I'm gonna put another line five millimeters. Now, I can pencil on the line, try square and do my lines again. And so we've got measurements just like this. Now you might be asking, why have we got these two lines here if we only need to keep these pieces? This section down here is called a cutting channel. And that's where we cut with our tenon saw all the way down through that middle there. So we're going to use those lines to cut down the middle. Now to do those lines, we also need to have lines down the side here. So I'm going to put my tri-square on the side here like this. I'm gonna put my pencil in line with where it was, and I'm going to do those lines on the side as well. That's so when we're doing a cut, we know that we're going to be cutting straight down. We're not gonna be cutting on any kind of angle. I'm gonna do that to here as well. Now 
Now this is one person's job has finished. Once you've done that, put your name on it so you know which one is yours. Just so you know which one's yours, it's now right to go through and the rest of the people in your group to go and mark out their pieces and they can do that. And there we have it. There is four people, one, two, three, and four. Already marked out and all really good to go over and check because a good tradesman always checks their measurements to make sure all their measurements are right. So maybe get a friend to go over that for you to check your measurements that you go. You've got to evaluate each step that you do because you'd hate to get to this step and this one here is wrong. So you've got to sand all these off and start all over again. Now, if you were to accidentally do some lines that were wrong. That's no worries at all. All you've got to do, get your sandpaper. And just like magic, it disappears and you're ready to do those lines properly. Now, you don't need to have lines. You've got lines on the top on each side here, but you don't need lines on the back here, just on those sides and that top.